prove the following trick identity. So what we'll do here is um, we'll get a common denominator. So that's just going to be 1 minus sine x and then 1 plus sine of x. So here we'll end up with 1 plus sine of x squared minus 1 minus sine of x squared. This is all over 1 minus sine of x, 1 plus sine of x. I'm going to take a little bit of a shortcut here. This becomes 1 minus sine squared x when you multiply them together. And this is a trig property. It's actually equal to cosine squared of x. So we'll use that later. Okay, but we need to FOIL these out. So we end up with 1 plus 2 sine of x uh, plus sine squared of x minus quantity 1 minus 2 sine of x plus sine squared of x. And I'll leave the denominator out for now. We'll get to that later. Distribute the minus sign. So 1 plus 2 sine of x plus sine squared of x minus 1 plus 2 sine of x minus sine squared of x. Sine squared of x is cancel out. Uh, the ones cancel out. And we're left with uh, 4 sine of x over cosine squared of x, or I'll break this down to cosine of x, and then cosine of x. And the reason I did that is so we can break this down. So you see this here, that's equal to tangent. This is equal to secant. And here's our four, which gives us four times the tangent of x times the secant of x. And we've proven our trig identity up here. And that's it. Okay, I hope this problem helped you out. I really appreciate you watching and you have yourself a fantastic day.